This is Witchspace News for Friday the 12th of June 2020. I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news we have a roundup of all the fleet carrier news, Frontier gives a financial trading update, the AXI launch a new website and more. If you enjoy this video consider subscribing and also click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. That stuff really helps us smaller channels. As I'm sure you're almost certainly aware by now the much anticipated oh so very much delayed fleet carrier update made it into the live game this week. Originally teased at the Frontier Expo in October 2017, two and a half years ago, the update has seen more than its fair share of bumps and wiggles before finally morphing into what we know today as the personal fleet carrier. The launch of the update was not without its own bumps and wiggles however with numerous connectivity and crash issues spoiling the party for a lot of commanders, this one included, for the first 24 hours. However, after Frontier pulled a couple of no doubt very long shifts, the game is mostly stable again now with only a few small bugs rather than absolute showstoppers still to be ironed out. As of this morning, Anara is reporting that there are around 5200 carriers currently in the game. Just for the base price alone that's somewhere in the order of 26 trillion credits spent and doesn't include the added services commanders will have chosen on top. If you're still on the financial fence about whether to stump up the 5 billion credits asking price, Down to Earth Astronomy has created a fleet carrier affordability calculator that will work out your purchase price and running costs with the services you want active or suspended. With the launch of a new update there's always a sprint to discover the new money making meta and with something expensive like the fleet carrier being the headline feature for this update it is certainly the case now more than ever. The update saw the death of the Buran triple low temperature diamond hotspot but within a few hours a new overlapping triple low temperature diamond mining meta hotspot has already been discovered. It's a little bit outside the bubble this time but if you own a fleet carrier it's a trivial matter. For those that don't yet own a carrier but are perhaps looking to earn the credits to buy and afford one then ironically a very cool new fleet carrier tritium fuel trading meta that itself involves cooperating with other commanders who own a carrier is rapidly surfacing as the current way for everyone, carrier included, to make a fast buck. As at the time of recording both systems included in the new money making metas are now so full of carriers that you can't get any more carriers in there and the excess carriers are spilling into the neighbouring systems. The new Pilots Initiative player group announced this week that they are hosting a Colonia Express event starting on July the 5th. The fleet carrier Patronus will be leaving the bubble, jumping straight to Colonia and then returning roughly a month later. The trip is free but donations of tritium to help fuel the trip would be greatly appreciated. And one final bit of carrier news, Commander Absolver has created a fleet carrier management web tool. It's early days still for the in development app but thus far you can register your carrier, post a scheduled jump search systems for carriers, search DSSA carriers specifically and interrogate a specific registered carrier to view its access details. Links to all of these are in the video description below. The Twitch streamer Trans Tech Girl will be hosting a 48 hour livestream event on the 19th of June to raise money for the Macmillan Cancer Support Charity in honour of her aunt who sadly passed away earlier this month. During the event she'll be moving the newly commissioned fleet carrier the ISF Mandy's Rest to its permanent anchorage in the Mare Somnia region. A trip that is expected to take the full 48 hours. Links to everything you need to participate are in the description below. The Anti Xeno Initiative launched their new website this week as well as updates on the status of the Thargoid conflict. The website contains recommended AX ship builds, science reports on AX activity and encounters and wiki articles about AX combat tactics, the definitive AX resource. 
Before we go a quick bit of FDev company news. The company released a new financial trading update this week that I've linked below if you're curious. It contains some healthy telephone like numbers which bode well for the future of the company and therefore the game as well. They also give an insight into just how expensive maintaining development at a company like Frontier is. The Odyssey announcement is mentioned in the report and the wording in its description is only slightly different to that used in the community announcement mentioning quote ...allowing players to touch down on countless new planets powered by stunning new tech and explore with unrestricted freedom from a first person feet on the ground perspective." Unquote. Unsurprisingly no new details there on exactly what planets that feet on the ground exploration will actually extend to just Odyssey planets or Horizons airless worlds as well only time will tell. The company's full yearly financial results are due on September the 9th. It's likely to be a bumper one. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.